hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how to fix the issue the blue screen driver state failure on your windows 11 or 10 so if you are facing this video i will show you step by step how to resolve this issue so the first reason is related to the power since the error code is related to the power so go to control panel and select here the large icons and now we need to go to the power options and once you go to the power options if you are using the PC I mean the system so you can choose the high performance if you are using the laptop so leave it as recommended then click on change the plan settings then click on change advanced power options and you need to click on this hard disk and set it to never option just minimize it like this and after that it will go on to never then click on apply then click on ok and go back once also choose this option what power button does and from here the click on unavailable and choose the op option startup to disable the startup restart and once you disable it let me show if I have the plan I don't have that plan so then click close this so this is the second number one now let's move on to the second number two second number two simply open the command prompt here run it as admin and try this command sfc space forward slash scan now this command will basically repair your windows corruption if any and let's minimize this and we will proceed with the third step third step is very important run this command this is very powerful command to resolve any kind of issues related to windows open the google chrome or any other browser whichever you use and you need to type her the, your laptop or the system model Dell driver go to first link then let's go to second then type a Lenovo drivers whichever brand you are using just you need to put that HP driver and you need to make sure that you have to install some drivers let me show you you need to enter your serial number here now let me show the serial number physically you can see on your desktop and system also this is your serial number this is your serial number and another command I have is open CMD and type this command simply let me show you the command W M I C C S product and hit this command and once you hit this command the serial number you need to copy and paste here here okay and then click on search option once you search that let me show you I'm looking with the model number just click on Dell this is the model number I have chosen that one but you need to enter the serial number here and this is very important step in this video just click on check for update and once you click on check for update it will try to update all the pending drivers on your windows if this option is not working on your windows like this is showing up like this so if this option is not working and unable to detect the driver just click on select drivers and we need to look for your BIOS driver that is very important in this video just search here the keyword BIOS as you can see here the BIOS driver is showing up here the critical just you need to click that option and simply download it once you click on download option you need to run it simply just double click on this exe and plug in the, with the charger if you have the laptop and first you need to wa wait for this to complete now this has been completed now run the bios now 
and after that restart your windows or even it will be automatically restarted just plug in with the charger and after that your issue will be fixed if after applying these methods your issue is still not resolved guys that means that if you have recently changed the hardware so you can check that reinsert them or retry with the another hardware so that's all for this video guys i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching